Monday, September 23rd this year, and the country would wake up to tragic news after a classroom at Precious Talent Primary School in Dagoretti collapsed, killing eight pupils and leaving schools injured. <laughs> But the sad episode, it appears, did little to suppress the resolve of the 2019 KCP class who performed exemplary despite the circumstances. Three pupils out of the 28 candidates managed over 400 marks with the school recording a mean standard score of 346 marks. Whatever knowledge the children had acquired, that is what has produced what we can see today. If we had those five weeks with the children, I think the story would have changed drastically. Nairobi Woman Representative Esther Pasari is now calling on the government to partner with private school in formal settlements so as to improve performance. Particip uh, partnerships. If the government were to actually say we're going to public, do a public-private partnership with Precious Talent and give it some money so that they can build a good school here, uh, then we would be able to do it. So there's areas that we need to explore. Normally they will say, oh, it's a private business. At Mana Good News Academy in Mombasa County, the four candidates who scored over 400 marks were full of joy and laughter as they celebrated their victory. I'm very happy today to celebrate my victory. I would like to appreciate my teachers for spending their sleepless nights to ensure that I succeed. I also like to thank the teachers who have always had our back, they've supported us. We would not have been celebrating our victory if it would not have been them. The institution, which is under the umbrella of Hope Foundation of Kenya, provides full education sponsorship to the children with school's director, Alan Owano, attributing the good performance to hard work and discipline. And we are very proud of the work that they've done. And it is our commitment that all the students will proceed to the high school. In Samburu County, Benedict Aquino from Loika Slums went against all odds to score 360 marks. The 15-year-old boy who was supposed to be a pilot has now been forced to join his father in pursuing casual jobs to earn an income which is not enough to save for his school fees.